Teachers, at this time, you should be passing out the dog team transcripts and making high school counts booklet. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Sheets, and I am the counselor for the juniors and freshmen L through Z. I want to make sure you understand your high school transcript. As a junior, you may have already a good idea of what a transcript is. But freshmen, you do not have a transcript yet. Your transcript is your academic biography of the time you spent in high school. Juniors, you should have a copy of your transcript in front of you now. Freshmen, you will be watching on the screen. If you look at the wide column on the left of the transcript, you can see the heading marked Academic History. Here you can see the names of the classes you have taken each semester, the grade you received in each class, how much credit you received for the class, and how the class was coded, such as LA for Language Arts or MA for math. Now look in the upper right hand corner of the transcript in the box marked Plan B2, Basic Plan for Class of 2014, if you are a junior. The Class of 2016, if you are a freshman, will be viewing the screen. For the requirements to graduate from high school set by West Albany and the State of Oregon for your graduation year. Each semester you accumulate credits. The numbers under the column marked complete will go up and the numbers under the column marked remain will go down. The numbers under the column marked require will always stay the same. You need 24 credits in these specific areas in order to graduate from West. This box is really the best way to keep track of how you are doing in high school and how close you are to completing your graduation plan. You should average seven credits during your freshman and sophomore years and six credits during your junior and senior years. You should plan on taking a math class during all four years of high school. If you are on track to be a valedictorian or want an honors diploma, please stop by the counseling office to let us know about your intentions and to see if it's possible for you. You can also see if you have passed your essential skills testing in the area right below your plan B2 box. You need to meet the essential skills for reading, writing, and math in order to graduate. You can see your attendance as enrollment history since you started school, as well as your immunization history. As your counselor, it is my job to make sure that you have the classes to earn all the right credits in the specific areas in your plan. It is your job to pass these classes. By looking at your plan B2 box, you can see what is required. For example, you will need to complete 3.5 credits of English, coded as LA, and 0.5 credits of composition, coded as CW. Once you have met the graduation plan requirements, any other classes you take under these codes will count as elective credits. Most students graduate with extra credits in this area. You cannot take the same class twice and get core credit for it, no matter what. For example, you need three credits of math, MA, to graduate. If you retake a math class such as Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus, it only counts as math credit one time. The retake of the class counts as an elective credit. This is also true for AP Calculus, AB. One credit counts as math, the other as an elective. Any core areas, English, math, science, social studies, can only be counted as a credit in that area once. If you retake a class that you have already passed, it will be counted as an elective credit. Some non-core classes or electives can be taken more than once. The 0.5 credits listed as career ed, coded as CE, is an accumulation of activities that you will complete over the four years at West. This includes dog team activities like the one you are participating in right now. Attending dog team activities is mandatory in order for you to receive your CE credit required for graduation. It is not accounted for until your senior year, so don't expect to see anything change in this area until then. Classes, grades, credits, and codes are only entered on your transcript at the end of each semester. Grades are not final until this time. So to recap, you earn credit one semester at a time. You earn 0.5 credits in each class you have per semester. This includes year-long classes. 
you have to earn the correct number of credits in these specific areas listed in your Plan B2 box. Other classes you take in core subject areas become elective credit after you meet the required number of credits in those areas. You must either meet or exceed all your essential skills in order to graduate. The .5 career ed credit will not be accounted for until your senior year. If you receive an incomplete or an F in a core area class, you will need to make that credit up. Teachers, please hand out the Making High School Count booklet and the PEP, the Personal Education Plan. Students, now please turn to pages 14 and 15 in your high school counts notebook. These pages have the heading West Albany High School Education Plan and Profile. This will be your personal education plan, or PEP. You should use this to track what classes and credits you are taking and what you still have remaining. Please fill in your PEP now. You will have about three to five minutes to work on this. Please do so quickly. We need to fill out a career center survey. Sorry, freshmen, no survey for you. Additionally, the transcript can be stored in the high school counts book, or you may take it home. We will now begin completing the junior survey. Please fill out the survey listing only two colleges and only two career areas. If the Career Center gets specific information about the college you choose, they will get the information to you. If you are interested in the trades or the military, please mark the appropriate area as well. For your second career area choice, do not write down the title that is underlined. Please write down one of the careers listed below the underlined title. This information helps the Career Center in planning which speakers are invited to the career day. <laughs> 